Ah, uh, yes. Yes, it is I, Grigna, returned to the house of my good friend, Dr. Mitchell, to have a, br a breakfast. And more importantly, read some fan mail, because, of course, Grigna can't read. So Grigna needs Dr. Doc Doc Mitchell to, to read it to him. Grigna has prepared breakfast here. Uh, Grigna is going to be having cram, pure protein, uh, crammed in a can, along with a uh, glass of water. Doc Mitchell is having a salad. Because Grigner thinks Doc Mitchell needs to be a bit more healthy in life. So, uh, Grigner has been away for a few days because Grigner uh, was entertaining guests, but then also being very, very unwell. Uh, maybe it's the lack of delicious moonshine coursing through his veins. We'll solve that problem in a second. Ah, here is the doctor now for breakfast. Doc Mitchell. No, your breakfast is over here. Ah, oh, see, you've bought yourself a, a loaf of bread. Sir. Oh! He actually took his breakfast! Holy shit! <laughs> you enjoyed the, the breakfast that Grigner has prepared for you, Doc Mitchell. Ah, oh, these are actually Grigner's things. He did actually put them on the table for Doc Mitchell. Thank you, for, uh, thank you uh, Doc Mitchell, for joining Grigner for breakfast. Anyway, uh, lots of great advice, great comments, great suggestions from uh, Grigner's fans across the world. More importantly, though, many people have chosen to depict Grigner and his magical adventures in a magical way. So I would like to present you all some of, some of Grigner's choices. Uh, if Grigner has missed any, please let Grigner know, because Grigner is a goddamn idiot and probably missed some. Uh, particularly as Grigner was slightly ill yesterday and didn't really have a chance to... Uh, dig too deeply here but Grigner appreciates all depictions as it is a monument to his glory and his his greatness and his adventures so thank you to all of these many artists on screen now for making Grigner the warrior that he deserves to be all good warriors need art all good warriors need portraits and and statues in their honor we're working on the statue now Grigner would say there is another reason we're in good springs Grigner would say all arts that uh I guess we'll take this back then all art depicted, uh, depicting Grigner is equal. Because they're all equally great, because they all have an equal amount of Grigner. Unless someone draws two Grigner, at which point, I don't know, the jury's out on that one. However, Grigner can only enjoy those with his eyes. This thing, Grigner can enjoy with his body. All we have to do is find it. Uh, no, it's not a companion. Although there have been a lot of very helpful suggestions for who Grigner should take on his adventures very soon. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for, but somewhere in Good Springs... Grigner has had a, a gift delivered. So we're going to go and explore. We're going to see what we can find. Ah, I think it's right there, in fact. What a fantastic day for Grigner to kick things off with. Oh, let's have some vault tech fixing things. Thank you. Ah, Joris head helmet. Joris themed Ushanka. Wow. That one gives a little bit of charisma. Whereas that one gives, uh, that one is, is armor for Grigner. We will take both. Grigner's secret trunk. Grigner is not a smart man. He didn't hide it very well. It's secret to Grigner. There. No one shall ever know of Grigner's things. That is Grigner's, Grigner's friend. Good friend, Good Spring Settler. His name is... His name is Bert. Bert Grigner's friend. <laughs> and he looks after Grigner's secret trunk. Let's try on Grigner's new apparel. Wow. Now, Grigner enjoys the uh, police hat, of course, because Grigner is an authority in his own right. However, uh, let's try on the Ushanka. Oh, yes. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, now that is the Grigner we've all hoped for. Look at his gormless face. <laughs> wow. Look at that, Grigner. My God. This is incredible. This is, you may not like it. This is what peak physical performance looks like. Let's throw on uh, Grigner's other hat. Uh, now, this one we'll probably use more frequently uh, because this one, of course, counts as a helmet. So this is probably what we'll, uh, probably what we'll stick with going forward. Whoops. Grigner had a strange out-of-body experience then. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, yeah. There you go. So that one has uh, a covering over the top there, too. That one's got a bit more of a metallic look to it. It looks a bit more solid, whereas the other one was a bit more of a, a furry friend for Grigner. Now, speaking of friends for Grigner, this is incredible, by the way. Like, actually, uh, the greatest experience I've ever had in any game. Uh, and it, it's impossible to ascend beyond this. 
We are the perfect man for this wasteland. Anyway, um, <laughs> apparently also horribly over encumbered. How much did these weigh? Oh, no, we were just right at the limit. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, let's just eat some things. Uh, oh, Lion Congressional style is our speech book. Hey, somebody did leave a comment saying I missed a book, so we will have to go back and grab that. I think they said it was in the Mojave Outpost. We want to go to the Mojave Outpost anyway for a few reasons. Um, but lots of good suggestions. A lot of people have been talking about companions. You know, uh, rumors of a lady that can punch. Rumors of uh, a grandma so large that she may even dwarf Grigna. But Grigna doesn't believe that one. That one's clearly a lie. Let's head down to the Mojave Outpost then. What a mouse sensitivity. Oh, what's going on with that? Well, oh, maybe it's because Grigna's stone cold sober. Sorry, let's, let's fix that one immediately too. What was I thinking? Ah, oh, Sergeant Kilborn. It is I, Grigna. We have met before. Right, let's have... Uh, let's get ourselves sorted out here. Ah, a little bit of an America theme there playing in the background. A couple of rum and nukas for breakfast. Excellent. Now, people were saying that uh, Moonshine can stack with... Uh, oh, will you sell me some things? Or more specifically, can I sell you no. things? No? People were saying that uh, the Moonshine can stack with other alcohol. Hey there. So Grigna could become very strong. Moonshine in one hand, Scotch in the other. I think somebody said uh, in the outpost, not only have we got a quest to turn in the outpost, but somebody said there was also a book I missed. So that's uh, a Grigna missed. Because Grigna has low intelligence after all. So it can't be my fault. Ah, Major Knight. The man who rejected Grigna. <laughs> Grigna's never recovered. I think they said there was a, uh, a book on one of the beds. But I'm just going to poke around anyway because I wasn't very thorough last time. Hmm. What have we got in here? Good morning. Ranger Jackson. Uh, Ranger Jackson, what's going on with you? Ranger Jackson. The man's having some issues with his glasses. Maybe they're broken. Uh huh. What did I miss? Did I seriously look right at a book and then walk past it? It was here, right? I'm not going mad. Uh, we'll have to go into the uh, the, the bedrooms because it's obviously the offices. So we're looking for an additional. Uh, Grigna has a few choices to solve the problems of the people of Prim. Remember that's what we were doing last time, trying to get uh, someone to go and help out the town. Back again, I see. Something you need? Design Major Knight Grigna. Do not talk to me. Uh, Grigna needs help with Prim. Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? We can either get uh, a pardon for the guy who wants to be sheriff. He was, in his own words, a lawman, if you remember, who took justice into his own hands. Kind of expedited justice, so... You know, a little bit too heavy-handed. Uh, or we get the NCR to send more people to Hayes. Now, Grigna isn't charismatic enough nor uh, strong of mind to convince them to give a, uh, a, a, a pardon to the convict. So Grigna is probably going to have to go for this one. Uh, there is another option, but Grigna is very much too stupid for that one. In theory, you maybe could pre reprogram the robot for combat, but Grigna is definitely not, uh, not good enough for that one. I'd like to help. We can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. Mm. Ah. Grigner is also too stupid for this as well. If the NCR runs Prim, I bet you could sell it to someone. Uh, somewhere. NCR is not in the habit of buying and selling towns. Unless that was some sort of joke on your part. Ha <laughs> ha! You understood my joke. Very good. Shit. We actually can't finish the quest because we're too stupid. <laughs> that is uh, phenomenally on brand. I think somebody said we missed... Where did we miss the book then? Am I going mad? Oh, no, hang on. It was um, Ranger Andy's bed in Prim. I'm getting all my rangers confused. You are absolute fool. I think somebody said well, there's a couple of quests we can turn in here, but I'm not entirely sure what quests we can turn in right now. Um, given that... What, what quest do we have here? So my kind of town, we're kind of stuck on that one because none of our skills are good enough. They went that way and set the Great Khan's Boulder City, which is what we found out from Manny Vargas. One for my baby. Got to try and help out about Boone's wife, which we're, again, too stupid to do. Head to the Repcon facility west of Novak to investigate rooms of ghoul activity. I don't think we have a choice. Spread the word of Legion Atrocities. That's what we can turn in. Very good. It, it just occurred to me. Sergeant Kilborn. Hey, it's I, Grigner. Coming from the north? Must be crazy to break we've, those rooms. We've met before. Uh... My friend Sergeant Kilborn, Nipton, has been pillaged and ransacked and not by Grigna. What? There's no way. We're miles from the Colorado. They... 
They aren't even waiting for the dam to fall. They're already inside the borders. We'll never stop them. Not at this rate. We're doomed. Thanks for bringing the word. Of course. Even if the news is bad, I'll let the men know. Could you turn the music down slightly, Sergeant Kilborn? It's very Watch loud. Yourself. Excellent. Brings Grigna slightly closer to being smart enough to try and help some people in this world. <laughs> So I Dream of Electric Sheep is uh, the cybernetics. Eventually, Cyber Grigna will be our goal. But for the time being, I'm enjoying regular plain old Grigna. We, you know, the, the eventual Grigna needs to unfold naturally. We're not just gonna, they're not just gonna try and become Cyber Grigna. Not until Grigna is ready and Grigna wants to. More importantly, travel to the Canyon Wreckage near Prim and enter the Divide. That is DLC. So Grigna won't be doing that for a long time. Kill Tom Quigley and retrieve his finger. This was the bounty we were given. This man is uh, an incredible sharpshooter, uh, which puts Grigna at a disadvantage, given that Grigna uh, will need to stab him with a sword. I feel like the only one we actually can do right now is, well, is, is either one of these. Where, where is Tom Quigley? Is he somewhere convenient? 8,000 feet away. Hmm. Why are we measuring long distances in feet? <laughs> uh, no, Grigna will not be doing that one because it's freaking miles away. In that case, head to the Repcon facility west of Novak. Fine. Let's head over there then. So we've got to follow the road actually out of uh, out of Novak here. So this is the fastest route to take. Actually, I wonder if we could go there and climb the mountain. I'm not going to risk it. There's things to find on the road, I'm sure. So let's head out. And while we're in Novak, let's grab that book before I forget. Oh, now somebody uh, also wrote to Grigna. Oh, he's sober again. God damn it. Someone also wrote to Grigna and said uh, that maybe Grigna could look into getting a room here in Novak. Because it's not going to be that busy here, let's be honest. The place is a dump. Uh, let's have a few more wines as well. Because it's a whiskey. What's that? Whiskey? Scotch? Vodka? Oh, dear. Novak isn't the busiest place, so maybe they will give us a room indefinitely. Hey there. I'm Jeannie May. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Grigna would like a room. Well, I think that's a fine idea. I'll give you a good flat rate, and you can stay as long as you like. At least until the busy season comes. Sound good? This does sound... A 100 caps is expensive for a room, but it's a long-term stay. I'm glad you can stay with us. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Thank you. Grigna, Grigna is pleased that finally he has somewhere to put all of his crap. And more importantly, get blackout drunk. Oh, I think that one's ours. So we want to go check the... Check Ranger Andy's room. I've also turned down mouse sensitivity somewhat. To hopefully aid with uh, not having so much motion sickness. Hopefully make things a little more watchable if Grigna's not spinning around on the spot. Like some sort of Call of Duty kill cam. Ah, there it is. You're right. Hey, welcome. Hello, Ranger Andy. It's I, Grigna. Uh, not here to rob you, of course. Just here to, uh, cupboard inspection. Oh, is he okay? He's freaking out. Oh, he's just seeing if his steak was cooked. When does Ranger Andy leave? Mm, yes, this cupboard is... Oh, these electrics are a nightmare. Ranger Andy. Grigna knows one or two things about wires. And let me take... Okay, well, let's just hang around for an hour. See if he'll actually... I mean, it is... <laughs> it's 8 p.m. I can't imagine he's in a hurry to go anywhere. Let's skip forward to, I don't know, maybe 9 a.m. Maybe then he'll leave. Grigan is just going to stand in his room. The COVID inspections are in Durandy. I'm sorry. Someone has to do it. But Oh, he's sober again. Somebody has to do it. It's a hard job. God damn, does he really just sit in here all day? Piss off, Ranger Andy. And then he's asleep. And leave. Okay, Grigna, I don't think, can take Ranger Andy's book. Because Ranger Andy is, uh... Effectively bedridden. Hey, well, well, I mean, of course, we know he is, uh... Unfortunately suffering a couple of injuries. Well, we'll come back to that one. Put a pen in it. Helpfully, uh... Grigna's good barbarian friend, Sir Thor the Swede, has been keeping track of, uh... Hey there. Need anything? Things Grigna has missed. So we can go back and do them when it becomes more uh, more feasible. So that is much appreciated. Uh, of course, picking the lock in the town of uh, Nipton. Or it was horribly burned down. 
<laughs> smell some ammo. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to clear out some of our inventory and then we'll dump the rest in uh We'll dump the rest in our house before we head up to the uh what was it called? Repcom. Before we head up to Repcom. Right. Uh baseball. Griffin doesn't really need a baseball, let's be honest. Uh Cassador Poison Grand. Honestly? Whoa, it can upgrade an implant. A Y3 implant. I don't even know what that is. Um, cigarettes. Don't need that. Uh, Dinky the T-Rex souvenir. We're going to keep that. That's Grigner's now. Grigner's good friend, Dinky. Who needs a companion when you have that? Uh, I don't think we're ever going to make anything out of gecko hide, to be honest. It's so hard to know what to get rid of because... Yeah. Oh, but it's food though, isn't it? It's so hard to know what to get rid of because... Um... Let's get rid of that. Just because so much of it is used in crafting and survival, which is going to be a big part of Grigner's, you know, how, how Grigner makes his way out here. Grigner needs all the help he can get. Um, fresh and endurance minus one. We need to cook that up, don't we? Homebrewed Nuka Cola. Mm. Every time I play this game, I think it's like a nice cold bottle of, of, of cola brand would be would be quite nice. And then I remember, kind of makes my teeth hurt, which is a very normal reaction, I think, to something that's <gasps> shades, ninety percent sugar. Uh, mm, I don't think we can... Yeah, take these guns. How, how much money you got? Four, six, six. There you go. Done. Keep the change. Griggler cares not for your coin. He hasn't got the patience for such things. I'm not going to count out every penny. Oh, this is lovely. A bit a little dark, but... Oh. Ah, a pre-soiled toilet. Griggler's favorite beverage. Empty whiskey. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll be contributing to that. Uh, ah, she's left us with some medicines. Sexy sleepwear for Grigner. <gasps> My god, we've made our money back in cocktails alone. You know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, 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 let's do this then. Let's open this up. I'm gonna put in all of the aid items, and then we'll just take enough, uh, you know, healing gear and stuff to keep us going. Because a lot of it is books and stuff that we're probably never gonna put in here, right? God, I wish there was a quick way to do this. Oh, we only have to do it once, though, of course. Like, like taking a doctor's bag with us when we go would be quite handy. And, uh... Obviously, stim packs, a little bit of food, some alcohol. Maybe, like, the jet gives us more action points. But, like, the magazines are so situational. We can always travel back here, grab them, go back out, you know. That's fine. Anything to, uh... Oh, my God. It's occurred to me how much of our inventory was... Ah, purely food. Food and alcohol that Gregner had been uh, smuggling here. Holy crap. That was genuinely half our inventory. Jesus, Gregner. Okay, perfect. I'm happy with this. We'll keep that in there for now. Um, let's put all the guns and shit that we want to sell in the safe. That's a good idea. Uh, take this. Are we going to stick with the chainsaw? I love the chainsaw. It's the wrong chainsaw. We need to get the other chainsaw or, or potentially a ripper. Granted, we can use the chainsaw to uh, cut open doors, but we can apparently also use explosives as well. Um, we need a, we need like a ripper, or we need to get that other chainsaw we can actually modify. That'd be good. So let's, uh, let's just chuck all of this in here. Molotov cocktails. Uh, I think Grigner could maybe use that. That could be quite handy. Uh, rising sun. Oh, the katana. Grigner is not enough of a weave. I don't want to sell it. This is just going to be shit to sell. Um, for the time being, we'll chuck it in there. There you go. Let's get the weight as far down as we can. Shades we're going to wear, of course. Um, and then, like, misc, like, crafting gear. Where do we want to put that? Just in the cupboard? Now, ah, oh, uh, this is almost certainly a better place for it. And this uses kind of oblivion rules, too. Same engine, after all. Um, certain containers aren't safe and w will reset. Oh, I accidentally sold Grig the shovel, which I realized afterwards was a horrible, horrible idea. Um, no, give me Dinky back. <laughs> we got priorities here. Um, which is a horrible idea because they're quite rare. Um, but, kind of tying into what I was talking about, containers reset occasionally, but so do... Um, wow, look at our weight now. Holy shit. We might not have to do inventory management again for a couple of episodes. This is fantastic. Uh, let's grab some supplies before we head out. So I want to take a doctor's bag, definitely. We've got all this money. Let's put the money away. Well, I mean, it doesn't weigh anything. Um... Right, let's take ourselves a doctor's bag. If we use more than one per journey, I'm doing something horribly wrong. Uh, dog steak. Mmm. Um, let's have a look here. What do we want to take with us? Uh, purified water. It's good for a little bit of health. Ruby's casserole. It's good, it's good. It's good food. It's good food, but we do need to take some alcohol. Uh, eight expired stim packs. It's already the best we can do, isn't it? And then we'll take a little bit of whiskey as well. Perfect. Right, we're ready for our adventures now. 
A lot of admin work here for the first 20 minutes. But it was necessary. Now the adventures continue. Hold on. Can we wear the shades? We can. This is Pete Grigner. This is the outfit we're going to be sticking with for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. You know what's really good? The shades with the eye patch. Look at his gormless fucking face, too. I couldn't be any more perfect. Just something about the shades with the eye patch with the polar bear head. The giant muscles. This is fantastic. This is peak New Vegas character. Oh, it's Dr. Uh, what's her name? Dr. Ada Strauss. What can I do for you? Let's see if she's got some, uh, some new medical supplies. We're looking for stim packs, preferably. Super stim packs. Yikes, it's a bit expensive. Um, fixer. Nah, we don't want that. I will buy the doctor's bag, though. Uh, we could afford a stim pack or two, but they're so expensive when we could just kind of sleep. It's only really in uh, hardcore mode that you'd have to worry about, you know, super stim packs and, and careful doctor's bag usage and that type of thing. We need to work on our survival skill. Well, first we need to work on our speech skill. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a dead ghoul. Oh. We need to work on our speech skill. We need to work on our bartering skill. And our survival skill. grinner has got a lot of stuff to improve. It is the undead. There must be a powerful warlock. A necromancer around here. Die, zombie. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think that was even a clean slice. I think he just hit that ghoul's arm so hard it exploded. Exceptional work, Grigner. Speed limit. No, oh, I mean, uh... Peel limit. Luckily, Grigner can't read. Die, zombie. Oh, that's going on shit. Oh, good lord. Grigner's finally found a worthy foe. Oh, wow. This might be where Gregner is in a slight bit of uh, slight bit of problem. Ghouls might end up being a more or more powerful foe than I than, than Grigner anticipated. They don't feel pain, and they hit hard. Grigner's already broken one of his limbs. Jesus, I'm not to oh his head. We're gonna have to repair that, otherwise it's gonna get very annoying. Um. Wow, uh, Grigner needs to sleep. Grigner needs to increase his friggin' health. Having four endurance or whatever was very much not the right idea. It's got much more range than it looks. Oh! It's got a long warm up, too. Oh, cigarettes, we can sell those. Holy crap. Grigner and the Tales of the Undead. Yes, what a story. What happened here? Hello? Rebar Club. Rebar Club? Rebar Club. 45 DPS. The Great Sword is certainly significantly stronger. However, counterpoint, it's a club made of cement. <laughs> wow. Uh, we're going to stick with the greatsword. It's a bit more Grigner. You know, it's a bit more on brand for Grigner. Look at all this loot. Uh, can Grigner open this up? He's too stupid. As per usual. Uh, railway spikes would be taking that. Wow. This is good. Conductors. Value of 30 each. Taking these. It really wouldn't surprise me if they did hide a star bottle cap amongst all this. Would be very, uh, very on brand, wouldn't it? What happened here, then? Little checkpoint that got overrun. There's loads of valuable stuff though. Medics. Jet. It's fantastic. Thing in there. Bunch of scrap metal. I'm fairly certain you use scrap metal for something. But I don't remember what. I might regret not picking it all up. Uh, what's down here? Dead end? Dead end. We're looking for stim packs. <laughs> <laughs> we really are blowing through healing so fast. That'll be that'll be one thing that we might want to try and change. Maybe that's a good reason to become Cyber Grigner. Grigner might be very strong. But he's, he's, uh, he has a terrible past. He was a weak, weedy child. It was He was a weak, weedy child growing up. He was always very sickly. He was always very ill. So he piled on the muscle to try and disguise it, to hide 
his feelings. But it turned out no amount of muscle, no amount of strength training, and no steroids, of course. This is all natural. <laughs> Turns out, even with all of that, it didn't fill the hole in Gregner's heart. Or maybe a very literal hole in Gregner's heart. It explains why he's uh, quite weak. Quite weak indeed. Ah, oh, some sort of giant concrete boob. Strange. Who, sh who would have built such a, a mighty statue? Oh, God, there are so many. Okay, no pressure here, Grigner, but Jesus. I mean, full pressure. We can take maybe a couple of hits. Die, beast! Be gone, vile demon! Return to where you came! Jesus, okay, okay, okay. Remember the words of Dot Mitchell. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Ah, Repcom test site. Now, bearing in mind, we're doing this. Oh, no. Bright follower. We came across some of these before. They were deranged bright followers, if you remember. And they shot us. So maybe the regular bright followers aren't so bad. Is this a giant pool of radiation? Certainly does appear that way. Oh, is there someone in the middle of it? What is that? Is that a body? Is there something on them? It looks like they've got some loot. Oh, God. Okay. Grigner may regret this. Fast, Grigner. What is it? Absinthe! Cat eye. Steady. <gasps> this is some monkey's finger bullshit. It's like looking into a future version of Grigner. Risking it all for some alcohol. But at what price? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Maybe a stim pack? Oh, God. There was obviously some sort of showdown between... The bright followers. And whoever came here to try and kill them. Try and stop them. So those uh, bright followers. I know there's a lot of people who've never played New Vegas before. Those ghouls with the clothes and the guns are just what you would call a ghoul. The other ghouls that go. And then run at you. Those are feral ghouls. Effectively ghouls whose, whose minds have been rotted so far by the radiation. Uh, ghouls are just people that have you know been exposed to. Heavy dose of radiation. They have very long lifespans. They're immune to radiation, effectively, because of uh, some unique changes that happen to their body. But generally, a lot of them are um, people from uh, before the war. Okay, so this is just an alternate way in then, huh? This is where we can kind of sneak in, I suppose. So I'd have a look around, see if there's anything here. Nope, just an alternate way in. Okay. But feral ghouls are people who have completely lost their minds. There is a kind of kind of like an in-universe argument whether or not regular ghouls eventually become feral ghouls. It's a big quest in Fallout 3. Whether or not you want to let the ghouls live amongst regular humans. The humans are, you know, very prejudiced against them because they think that one day they'll all become feral. So whether or not that's the case, I'm, I'm I'm not actually sure. I don't think there is ever an example of, of in a Fallout game a character rebar club. Right, so it was probably super mutants then, huh? What, what else would be strong enough? Uh, some large creature. Powerful enough to carry these giant clubs. Only Grigner would be powerful enough to carry such a thing. Interesting. Is there anything down there? Well, if there is, it's getting unfound because we're not going down there. Okay. Here we go, little Grigner. I don't think there's ever an example in game of a, a regular ghoul hey, becoming a feral. Over here. Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Oh, who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Where, where are you located? Sorry, Grigner was having a drink. Like I said, <laughs> find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. Which way is east? Where they used to make rockets. Thank you, wall box. Let's hope you do. The wall box murder the people? Oh. Well. 
I get the feeling it was super mutants. To look into a mirror. A big blue mirror. If Grigna was in Avatar, this is what he would look like. Wow. So these bright followers have been fighting these Nightkin. Nightkin are big old super mutants. But they're mentally unstable compared to regular... Regular super mutants. Oh, harmonica. They're very mentally unstable compared to regular super mutants. And they're exceptionally paranoid. So they use the device called a stealth boy that turns them invisible. Which is what we just found on the floor next to this guy. Now we could use that to sneak through. Uh, well, Grigna can't. Unfortunately, Grigna's ass is too fat. Uh, doesn't sound friendly, does it? Die! Beast! I'm not sure how he hit us, but we weren't able to hit him there. Well, oh, this is horrible. Got me on edge, because we're a very weak man right now. Man in the wall. Are these your friends? But ghouls and feral ghouls can uh, live peacefully together. Feral ghouls see them as, uh, as kin, which again is a big part of the quest in Fallout 3. Fallout 3 doesn't have the same quality of writing, character development, or kind of interesting characters as New Vegas. I did try playing it kind of last month, but it just doesn't, I don't know, it, it just doesn't, it does, doesn't have quite the level of depth or story progression, I think is the big problem in Fallout 3. You're given a, 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 a simple task. But unlike Fallout New Vegas, where you kind of stumble across new things to do, and new journeys, and new characters, Fallout 3 feels very linear. You have to actively go poking around to find stuff, you know? Fallout New Vegas is kind of... Follow the breadcrumbs, but the breadcrumbs will lead you, you know, many different paths, and also aren't the main draw. Whereas in Fallout 3, it is follow the breadcrumbs, hey, that's the whole story. I know a lot of people like Fallout 3. I like Fallout 3. I always said I preferred it to New Vegas, but... Going back and playing them both, I, I think this one is... Uh, still far superior. Oh, there's a lot of them in here, isn't there? So this was the room we were in before, so we could have come up here. Just kind of getting a scope on the place, seeing what we can find. A lot of ghouls still around, so watch your back. Ooh. What a horrible experience. You aren't trapped. The Grigner isn't trapped in here with you. Oh, I almost got it wrong. You're trapped in here with Grigner. This is very slender, isn't it? Do you remember that uh, Gary's mod? Uh, there was a Gary's mod, well, mod, game mode, uh, called Stop It Slender that took place in like, uh, you had to go find the pages. One person got to play as Slenderman. Well, I hear them, but I don't see them. And it kind of took place in like an underground uh, car park. Man, this place is fucking huge. I have no idea where we've gone so far. That's all right, we'll find our way. Getting big vibes. Very, very similar vibes from this one. We could, you know, look at the terminals for a bit of immersive storytelling, but Grigna can't read. This was genius. This was a genius idea. <laughs> I should roleplay an impatient person who can't read in uh, every game we do on this channel. My god, Mass Effect would have been a very different experience. <laughs> Good morning. Ghouls? Are you friendly? We really need to change that kill cam, don't I? Okay. There's still so many of them. Ah. 
Well, this place seems pleasant. This is the metal staircase to the east. Oh, what a hit! Oh. Delicious mutilated organs. Rotting Brahmin corpses. Well, at least the generator is still going. Rebar club, more nightkin. Down there is a door covered in blood. There's another one somewhere. Apparently I missed one. Ooh. Whoa, hello. How dare you swipe at Grigner's mighty glutes. God, I am so lost. This place is gigantic. Right, let's have a look at the local map then. So I think we've covered most of it. Yeah, apparently we've covered most of it at this point. Um, that's where we're heading to. So let's go back out there. I don't think we got every single ghoul, but I think we got a lot of them. Rapcom basement. Okay. The bloody handprint on the door probably indicates keep out. You don't need to put a stop sign on somewhere. You just put a bloody handprint. It's far more effective. If you see, like, employees only, you know, you might think, ooh, <laughs> oh, something I'm not allowed to see what's behind here. Go for a secret. Wow. Did you just put a fucking bloody handprint? No one's going in there. Well, or... Oh, it's, it's the wall man. All right, Smooth. Or you get the I'm worst people in. going in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. I'd argue someone who goes in employees only door is less dangerous on average than someone who goes into a door willingly with a bloody handprint on it. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before uh, I throw up just from looking at you. Chris Havisham? You're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Uh, smooth skin? Your skin looks pretty smooth to me. No, I mean. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Hmm, how strange. The man in the box seems to be a real person after all. But he keeps calling himself a ghoul. When he's very clearly not a ghoul. I think we're in a decisively safe area. Oh, no, stay away from that. Hello. Wow. Holy crap. Hello. They're all friendly, don't worry. Well, I mean, not attacking us on sight. I'm sure if we started stealing their things, they'd be a bit more pissed. Oh, look at that laser gun. Grigner can appreciate the laser gun, even if he doesn't understand how it works, nor understand how to use it. What's through here, then? Rapcom facility, like another entrance in. Okay. Let's go have a chat with Jason. He's up here, I think. Uh, Jason? Jason? Hey there. <laughs> You're not Jason. Hey there. Ah, Jason. Jason Bright. Hello, Wanderer. Oh, jeez. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Uh, he's very, he's a very strange man. He's partly a glowing one, but then partly a regular ghoul. Uh, who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Do you think that Grigna would, would, I, I, look, he would almost certainly be on the offensive right now, slicing these people in half? I don't think, I, I mean, Grigna, low intelligence, big moron, low medical skill, Grigna, having just been attacked by many ghouls, being told by Manny Vargas to kill the ma many ghouls, then walking into a room filled with ghouls, I don't think he'd be able to tell the difference. Would Grigna kill them all horribly. I think he would. But, luckily, Grigna is very drunk. And everybody is more friendly when they're drunk. Oh, the green man. <laughs> Strange glowing friend. Your last name is Bright. Grigna is amused. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the Great War, even. Truly does the creator author a destiny for each and every one of so us. So he is from before the Great War, like I said, turned into a 
glowing one ghoul. Glowing one's a rare type of ghoul that emit massive amounts of radiation. They're also tough as nails. But he's not a glowing feral ghoul. He's just a glowing one regular, regular dude. Uh, Grigno would like to know about the man in the box. You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. What is in his suit pocket? Because, I mean, if it's a handkerchief, I think he's got bigger issues. How do you blow your nose if you don't have one? Uh, what, what, what is the Great Journey? Grigner is interested. A great crest, a campaign. We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The demons? You mean the, the blue men from the James Cameron film? The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us. The they demons have not raved? Attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Gregnor is more than just a human. One of the demons raved at you. It must have been quite a party. I mean, it's quite helpful when you are a walking disco ball. Uh, how will you make the journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. What, 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 what is this far beyond? Can I have come? only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. Ah. It is a place of light and healing. These eyes help. And I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. You say one of the demons raved at you. It's gonna it's gonna leave this as our only option, isn't it? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, Silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Grigna is a slayer of ghoul, not you. Demons, monsters, dragons. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Right. <laughs> Let me know when the underground... Is the oh. way clear? No, I didn't want to speak to you. Why did you speak to me? Go away. Then this is why Fallout New Vegas, I think, in some ways is um, yes. a superior to Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is um, a bit more serious, a bit more gritty. Takes itself very seriously. Uh, Fallout New Vegas, you go to a town of Novak where there's a giant dinosaur. I know it exists in real life. It's, it's like a real town uh, in Nevada. You go to the, the town with the giant dinosaur, or a man tells you that, you know, it will help you in exchange for clearing out the rocket, the old rocket facility with ghouls. You think, okay, fair enough, that sounds reasonable and sensible. And then you get here, there's a dude that's green and glowing and wants to go somewhere. No spoilers. Uh, and it's being attacked by invisible people. Okay. Now, Grigna cannot sneak. Grigner lacks the ability. Grigner is a man of action and words. The problem is, Grigner is about to fight some very sizable things. Is this worth more? Watts laser pistol, 524, regular laser pistol, 107. Let's go ahead and do some of that. Just do a little inventory management here before we, before we get going. 
I have no pistol. Hey. 166. 7. Okay. Fair enough. Nice. Okay. Some good stuff to sell here. I don't want to pick those up. Oh, Boone's Beret. I completely forgot about that. Boone's still up there waiting for us. <laughs> we can't do Boone's Quest either, though, don't forget. Because we don't have the skills necessary. Okay. Grigner is going to have to rely on all of his warrior training for this one. The sights, the sounds, the smells, the thrill. Take it slowly. We're going to see something. He thinks there may be another one too. Oh! Good disarm! Fantastic hit, Grigna. Okay. Use all your skills. Oh! You should have sent a bigger monster, Ogre. Oh, Grigna, what a play. He's an expert warrior. They may be bigger than Grigger. Gr Grigger? <laughs> they might be bigger than Grigna physically. But they are no more powerful. He's got much more, many more muscles packed into a much denser frame. Excellent. Right, let's go for a little bit of rebar club. I'm interested to see if this eventually could be more powerful. Can we mod it? We can mod the rebar club. Silicon grip makes it 25% faster. We might want to keep that on us then. Uh, we're not going to use it yet. We're going to great sword is the thing giving him this uh, fantastic advantage. Let's go ahead and put that on one. Uh, let's also drink some purified water for the slow heal. Uh, let's eat some pork and beans. <laughs> Nothing actually does anything. Just dead just gives us radiation. Normally it heals you food, but I guess. Purified water. Yeah, nothing yet. Alcohol withdrawal. <gasps> Grigna needs to drink. It's been surprisingly sober. Now Grigna will hit even harder still. These super mutants stand no chance. Night Ken. Night Ken. Imagine how horrifying that must be to be a Nightkin, like the most powerful creatures in the wasteland, towering above everything else, invisible. You've got strength and stealth, guile and brawn, and then this fucking madman, muscles on muscles, with some ancient weaponry, comes in, slices the weapon out of your very hand. Hmm. We shouldn't go in there. Slices the weapon out of your very hand. And then hunts your people. That's horrifying. In the words of the legendary Qui-Gon Jinn, there's always a bigger fish. What's that, Adler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler. For safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler. I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Please, Davison, speak slower. It's hard for Grigner to understand. Right the first time, ugly, I've come to kill you. I do feel like that would be a bit more Grigner, but he's uh, maybe this is a kindred spirit. Look at this. Grigner would like to know your workout routine. I, I'm here on behalf of Jason Bright. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You mean the ones upstairs? Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Uh, maybe Grigna can help. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Well, why? Can't you get... Because, I mean, if they can't get in, Grigner's not getting in. A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. 
After I realized I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then you come along. Antler says you are solution. Gregner is always solution. Ah, uh, I will find the stealth boy stop pile and if you and your kin will leave this place. Gregner would say something to the effect of, uh, Gregner agrees. <laughs> yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get Stealth Boys. And it deepens Let again, me give you see. Key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. It deepens again. Look at that sword on his back, though. We could kill him and take the sword. No. No. Grigna needs friends in this world. Grigna needs allies. What do you think he'd do if we hit that? If we hit Antler? We won't hit Antler. We will be kind and just. And there you go. It thickens again. The Night Kin are here to find the Stealth Boy because they're horribly paranoid. They can use the Stealth Boys to turn invisible. And that makes them feel better. Well, wow, they really are. Hopefully Davison won't say that personally. <laughs> We're absolutely annihilating them. So they use the stealth boys to hide themselves so that people won't look at them, and that helps their paranoia. So really, we're just helping a bunch of people with, uh, you know, mental health problems get the get get some sort of um, control for that. There is a, you know, I don't know if it's a, again like a I have a hundred percent confirmed in law, but there is this thing where they think that the nightkin are uh, losing their minds because of the stealth boy, but Grigner doesn't know that. Grigner is just here to help. These people help Grigner. Grigner will help them. Grigner will be helped in return. Grigner finally gets revenge on the man who shot Grigner in the head. Everybody wins except for the man who shot Grigner in the head. Ah. We don't need to go in there. There's a lot of night kid in there. We could kill them all. But let's have a look around and make sure we've covered all our bases. Can there's someone walking around? Okay, so that was over before. That's, this is the way to Davison? Yeah, here we go. So this is what we're looking for. This is the crack shot ghoul. Let's make sure we're healed up first, because I don't remember if they are going to shoot at Grigner or not. Uh, let's have a rum and nuka. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Delicious handful of nuts. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? I am Grigner. Jason has sent me. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. Uh, I'm looking for stealth boys to give to the angry blue people. <laughs> a stash of stealth boys? Are you kidding me? If there was some big stash of devices in here that made you invisible... Do you really think we'd be having this conversation? Uh, can I come up there and look? Maybe you missed the stealth boys. The only thing you'll find up here is a bullet hole between your eyes. Got any better Sounds ideas? Sounds like he's threatening Gregna. Sounds like he's threatening Gregna. Uh, I'm gonna get you out of this room. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, mm -hmm. and I'll get out of your way. Dragon is in very deep. I'll find your friend. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Remember, Grigner is a barbarian and a thief, but that doesn't mean he's like a bad guy. Okay? He's not a bad guy. He's here to, you know, make some money, earn some skills, do some fighting. He enjoys all of those things, okay? But he's not necessarily just here to kill everybody. He helps the ghoul. The ghoul helps him get the stealth boys. He takes the stealth boys to Davison. Davison leaves. Then the ghoul will 
be able to do whatever it is to go on his journey because the basement will be empty. That ghoul will help Grigna. Grigna can then go back to Manny and tell him that the ghouls are gone. Manny can then tell Grigna, even though we already know where they've gone, where the guys who shot Grigna went, and Grigna can go and kill the man who killed Grigna. It's very simple. Very simple stuff. Okay. I don't remember if you're supposed to be able to see them through walls like this. Or whether or not that's a bug. Nightkin Jailer. You're mine. Oh, it just occurred to me that that thing glowing in his hand is not from the stealth boy. Okay, we got to find a way to close the gap without him being able to blast Grigna. That didn't do it. Shit. Grigna's on fire. Got you now. Him. Nice. I was trying to hit the thing <laughs> to knock it out of his hand. We we damaged it. That, that is how that works, by the way. If you hit them in the weapon, yeah, you can even do it yeah, with uh, with a gun. If you vats onto a gun, you can shoot the gun. That will break it. Obviously, when you loot it, it'll be broken. But it's a way to disarm enemies. Ant meat, delicious. Uh, rebar club. We'll take that just so we can repair the other one. So we have the key from the nightkin now. Excellent. Let's clear out this area, make sure no night are gonna follow us down. Seems pretty empty. Cigarettes. Good to sell. Bottle caps and a camera. <laughs> Great thing I can take a picture of his new friend. Davison. Oh, there's a jail key in there as well. When you get the stealth boy. Ooh, those are worth a bloody fortune. Let's take those. And then we'll drop them as they're they're also very expensive. The fishing batteries, as you might imagine. Conductors are also quite nice. Scrap metal isn't worth anything, but I do think you need it for something. I just really can't remember what. Maybe it's Fallout 3 I'm thinking of. Anyway. We're going to head here to rescue the ghoul. And then everybody's happy. I think that's Grigna breathing heavily. Can you not do that? Fucking hell. There's someone behind me. So, yeah. Obviously, when you get the stealth boy on the way in, you can stealth all of this. Not kill anybody. But, unfortunately, you know. I'll try and get Grigna to do ex everything possible. Help all the people. We could have just come in and killed all the ghouls. That would have been enough to please Manny. If we would have killed all the ghouls, we wouldn't be able to help them do whatever it is they're trying to do. And we could have just come in and killed all the super mutants, help the ghouls, but then we wouldn't be doing this. Or we could have killed that other ghoul up there to help the super mutants. Okay. New Vegas is a game that very much discourages uh, murder hoboing. Which is a shame, because in some ways that would suit Grigna. And you can still do the game in more or less the same way. Was that his friend? Oh, no. You see, it's all optional. It's all optional. It's very good. So maybe you could play along. I know a lot of people have been playing along. A lot of people saying they're having a lot of fun with it. Cash Cow said he uh, installed a lot of, uh, you know, mods from places such as Lover's Lamps. I think you know what I'm talking about. There is uh, a robot in base game Fallout New Vegas. I won't spoil it, actually. I won't spoil it. But um, you can become very well acquainted with this robot, is what I'll say. <laughs> and with certain mods, you can, you know, enjoy certain aspects of that acquaintancing. Did you find my friend? A lot more significantly. Yes. Grigna has found the body of your friend. I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. Oh, was she British? Your part, so I'll do mine. Was she British? Look was she? Up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Bottle of water. <laughs> Fifth best medical care in the world, by the way. Dental care in the world, by the way. Where's America on that list? You're not even in the top fucking ten. So you watch it. You watch your mouth, stinky mouth. You watch your filthy mouth. Keep that shit away from me. <laughs> oh! Grigna's mortal enemy, the bear trap. Every freaking time. <laughs> I keep thinking it's loot. Ah! Okay. Uh, Grigna is not doing so well. Grigna is now entirely out of healing. So it was at all of our stim packs. Oh, shit. 
We really do need to level up endurance. Maybe Cyber Grigna is on the list sooner than I thought. Maybe we could give Grigna some sort of implant that will help him with, um... We're just going to eat the old... The old squirrel bits. So we could stack Brahmin Steak Beer and, um... Uh... Moonshine. And get, like, plus four strength. It would be absolutely obscene. Uh, atomic cocktail. That gives health. Okay. Let's just give it a moment. Let's be very careful. Concealed mine. Oh, fuck. Okay. Grigna's going to be smart about this. And... Nothing of value. Well, arguably, a lot of things of value. Just, you know, not stim packs. Ah! Careful, Grigna. Is there anything back here? Anything in the desk? Nothing? Okay. Uh... Ooh. Oh, no. Jumping in this game sucks. Oh! The alcohol's wearing off. Terminal. Oh, Grigna can't read, though. Ah! Well. That was dangerous. We were in literally the perfect place to not get... Oh, we can't even take away these rigged shotguns. This place sucks. We're in the perfect place there not to get annihilated. Bloody hell. If I'd have been like one bit over to the left. Or to the right. All the traps have shut off though, look. The shockwave knocks out everything. How the fuck did that not kill us? That was some incredible luck. You gotta remember, Grigna has 10 strength, but he also has 10 luck. I think that's dead. So we're looking for some sort of note. About a stealth boy shipment. Hmm. Ah, oh, here we are. Shipment mistake. Uh, something about... Uh, okay. Uh, got delivered here containing two gross devices called... Two gross of devices called stealth boys. Uh, will they really make you invisible? Wow. Workplace misbehavior. In light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading to Repcon's sexual harassment and workplace behavior policy. Oh, no. Unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is ground for immediate termination. Shipment sent back. We're sending back two crates of devices located at Stealth Boys as a result of em uh, employees' misbehavior. One crate was opened as missing five Stealth Boys. Oh. Sanjeev Rajan, custodian. So they were delivered here. But some employee used it to spy on someone in the toilets, I would assume. Disgusting. Disgusting behavior. And now they've been sent back. Oh. Well, I hope they take it well. Might as well grab all this loot. Grab some jet. Mmm. Okay. And everybody was happy. Except we've kind of fucked it up for everybody. Your friend's dead. Your stealth boys aren't here. Davison. I, oh! I see you, Shulman. Why is he pissed? Sword fight. You will never take Gregna Ogre. Die, beast. Mauler attack. Gregna! <laughs> like a Pokemon. Well, I'm not entirely sure why he attacked us then. Maybe we attacked too many of his friends. That's probably it. Probably because we helped the ghoul. Oh. A terrible shame. But we've done it. Got rid of all the. If you touch uh, Antler as well, if I remember correctly, it does also make him attack you immediately. I think that's because. Um, because we helped the ghoul, basically. Uh, we didn't do anything else that would trigger him to attack. It's a bit of a shame. It's kind of hoping we could play all the sides there. Come out on top. Maybe he just didn't take the news well. Probably makes a lot more sense. Star bottle cap? No. Star bottle cap? No. Oh, <laughs> one day. One day we'll get something. Conductor. Yeah, give, give that to Grigna. Fishing batteries. Very valuable stuff. Excellent. Oh. Oh. Hello there, doctors. I see. This is probably what they wanted to come down here for then, huh? 
Oh, look at these fishing batteries, though. My God. Grigna, you're rich. Greenland doesn't know anything about them, but they're made of metal and they're heavy. That's good enough for me. Okay. So let's leave that till uh, later. First things first. Grigna is going to head back to his hotel room. And have a sleep. Because all of his limbs have been broken. That was an epic sword fight. But unfortunately, they almost got the better of Grigner. No one ever got the better of Grigner, of course. But they almost got the better of Grigner. So now we need to head out. Go home. Lie down. Uh, assuming Grigner can find the way out, of course. Locked easy. Okay. Open door. Hello? Very lost. <laughs> Very lost indeed. Uh, it spies an impact. I'll take that. How do we, how do we leave? That's the fucking way out in this place. Come test Yeah, I thought it was there. Ah, oh, but I see we gotta go around this way. There you go. Grigner understands now. Excellent. Oh, more stim pack. Hey, great news. Is there anything up here? We have been up here before, haven't we? We we went the other way though. We came out of that door and went round. Got it. Okay. Let's head back. Get a good night's sleep and then come back tomorrow. That was good. Great progress today. Got a little bit of a slow start, so I, I was happy to let this episode go on a little longer just while I was catching everybody up. Grigner had to get get his bearings again, you know, but that was uh was a fine adventure. A nice time. Made a lot of new friends. Killed a lot of new friends. <laughs> and now we shall sleep with Grigner's favorite teddy. You get like a few hours here and there. That's good. Grigner doesn't need many hours sleep. Try and get like uh try and get a good eight hours though. What do you think? Eleven AM? Now yeah, probably doing. Ah. Refreshed and ready for the day. Mmm, dog meat. Grigner's favorite. Thank you for watching. Oh, we also got the well rested bonus for sleeping in an actual nice bed. Uh thank you for watching. Tomorrow we will return. More adventures of Grigner. If I missed anything, of course, as per usual, throw it me in the comments. I'll comb through some more comments, just make sure I didn't miss anything uh, of the past couple of episodes. And then hopefully we'll be back on regular schedule starting tomorrow. See you all then.